We're going back to Westeros. Although the second season of House of the Dragon has been filmed completely, post-production is still in full swing. However, most of the plot of Season 2 is being kept close to the vest so far. Nevertheless, there was always some initial information about the cast and the story. In this original, we are presenting you a first overview of what to expect in the second season and what else you can look forward to in the Game of Thrones universe. The final season of Game of Thrones left the majority of fans disappointed. Therefore, the prequel House of the Dragon should make everything better. The show is based on George R.R. Martin's book, Blood and Fire, and tells the story of a war within House Targaryen. This war takes place nearly 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones, and will go down in the history books as the Dance of the Dragons. The war starts after the death of King Viserys, and is fought by two parties. On one side, the family of Princess Rhaenyra and her uncle Daemon. On the other side, Alicent, the wife of the deceased king, with her sons Eamond and Egon. The two sides are called the Blacks and the Greens, after the colors of their houses. We can currently assume that Season 2 will be entirely dedicated to the bloody Civil War. The first trailer already promises plenty of action and a dramatic clash between the two sides. Screenwriter Sarah Hess revealed in an interview with Variety that there will be a special storyline in the second season, which is supposed to deal with a cruel revenge plot by Rhaenyra and Demon. She mentioned two keywords that should already be familiar to diehard book fans, blood and cheese. Series creator Ryan Condole has already confirmed that we will be seeing most of the first season's characters again, including, of course, Emma Darcy as Rhaenyra Targaryen, Matt Smith as Demon Targaryen, Olivia Cook as Alison Hightower, and Reese Ifans as her father, Sir Otto Hightower. Additionally, we can also look forward to Tom Glyn Kami as Egon II, Ewan Mitchell as Emon, and Fia Saban as Helena Targaryen. Sorely missed by fans, but confirmed for season two, how Stark is finally playing a larger role. More specifically, it's about the ruler of the North, Cregan Stark, who, according to initial rumors, will be played by the Last Kingdom star Tom Taylor. A return of the young versions of Rhaenyra and Alicent in the form of Millie Alcock and Emily Carey is not planned, as the plot is to be entirely without flashbacks. House of the Dragon is one of the few productions that was not affected by the actors and writer strike. The scripts had already been completed before the strike began, and the actors' contracts ran through English trade unions. Season 2 was shot in September 2023 and is scheduled to premiere on HBO in summer 2024. Unlike the mother series Game of Thrones, the story of the prequel was already set before the start of the first season. Therefore, we can presumably expect a well-rounded and self-contained story. According to the current status, two more seasons are to follow Season 2. The current season will include eight episodes and therefore be slightly shorter than Season 1. However, according to the producers, the advantage of having fewer episodes is that there is still enough story left to fill the other seasons. For example, a very important battle, which was originally planned for Season 2, will now only take place in Season 3. House of the Dragon is by no means the end of the story. After all, there are already quite a few titles circulating the net that also have enough potential for a realization. Some of them have already been confirmed. Dance of the Dragons is to be followed by another prequel series entitled Night of the Seven Kingdoms, which has already been commissioned by HBO. Night of the Seven Kingdoms is also set before Game of Thrones and tells the story of the young and naive hedge knight, Duncan, who travels through the lands and experiences adventures with his squire, Egg. Anyone who is already familiar with the Game of Thrones universe will know that the squire, Egg, is Egon V. Targaryen. Work on the scripts has already started. According to producer Francesca Orsi, the series will be significantly smaller than its predecessors. Additionally, a sequel that is entitled Snow will also be released. The series will take place after the events of Season 8 of Game of Thrones. It will feature new stories around Jon Snow, who will once again be played by Kit Harington. We can also look forward to a series about Egon the Conqueror. The show is about how he became King of Westeros and had the Iron Throne built. However, the project is currently still at a very early stage of development, meaning nothing is really known yet about the cast or exact plot details. In addition to the already confirmed spin-offs, many other projects have been mentioned, but according to George R. R. Martin, not all of them can be realized. It's more about collecting ideas and then to find out which of these ideas have the greatest potential. That was the latest information on the new season of House of the Dragon and the future of the Game of Thrones universe in general. How do you like the direction the franchise is heading? Let us know in the comments and like the video if you enjoyed our preview.